guys welcome back to another video my name is Evie and today I am going to be showing you how to change the icon of a specific file type and so we're going to be using um, these two files here these are um, auto hotkey scripts and we're going to change the icon of these because maybe you don't like them or you need to change them for example if for example if you have a new program and for example I have Premiere Pro CS6 um, I'm gonna have to blur out that name Premiere Pro CS6 but um, the Premiere Pro project files don't have the right icon that I want and I want to change it so that's gonna be an example that I do here so I'm gonna show you how to change these icons and yeah so let's get started Okay, I hope you liked my new intro. So, you're gonna go over to the link that I provide in the description, which is this link right here. And I'm gonna hit enter. And it's gonna load up in a second. Okay, there we go. And it's gonna bring you to this link. This is made by me. And you can see this executable right here. I'm gonna click on download. You're gonna close the ad, and there we go. As you can see it's downloading. You're gonna if you get this pop-up by Google Chrome, you're gonna click here and click on keep. It this file is safe, and I will show and prove to you guys that it is safe. Um so here I have the file. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna scan it with um, the VAS, which is a pretty good antivirus. As you can see here, there's no viruses found. Um, I'm going to move this to my desktop. So there we go. Here's our file. So I got my three files right here. I'm gonna double click on this file and it's gonna ask me here because it's off the internet. You're gonna click on run and you're gonna get this box. 7-zip self-extracting archive if you have it on your desktop it'll extract to the desktop click on extract and here for the password you see it's already made a folder you can click on show password it's 0011 like that hit ok here and these are the files you're going to double click on this file now you're going to get a pop up saying if you want to allow it you're going to click on yes and it's going to start loading everything right there as you can see these are all the icons for every single file for my computer so for example this is the illustrator file um, media encoder blc loads of other stuff and the desk and a load of other stuff and to find the right file type you're going to click up here on find or you can do control f both of them do the same thing as you can see and you're going to type the um with a dot what type of file so i can do a P, uh, Photoshop file. There you go. It's found it right here. Or I can do the file that we're going to be doing today. Auto hotkey. Hit enter. There we go. There's our file. So you can see the icon is there. Double click on it. Um, make sure you don't double click on anything down here. That's what I got stuck on once. Double click up there. And you can change the description of what uh, the file is. So you can, if you're changing the whole program, you can call this Premiere Pro project file or something like that default icon you can click here and you can change the icon okay so I'm gonna click on browse and I'm gonna browse for an icon so I can choose this icon that it gives me here and it'll open like that but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go and find an icon you can have exes dll's for icons or ico files so I'm gonna show you here with hrd macros that's a icon that I made and there you go you're gonna click on ok and you're going to refresh this and it's going to bring you to the exact same uh, place that you were in. Or apparently it doesn't do that. So I'm going to find it again. There we go. And as you can see, it changed there. And if we go to our desktop here. Um, boom. There you go. All changed. No shortcuts at all. As you can see here. I'm just going to go into one of them. As you can see here no shortcut auto hockey script so it's perfect as you can see here nothing there and there are the icons now you can make your own icon by basically going into microsoft paint if you don't know where that is 
Again, I'm gonna have to blur out the username. Type paint. You can I have paint on that and paint. Hit enter. Find paint. And you can draw an icon. For example, you can make it like this kind of size. Draw a smiley face. There you go. Save that and save it as a PNG. Somewhere, so I'm gonna save it in downloads. Entitled.png. That's fine. Go to Chrome or whatever web browser, and you're gonna type um, PNG to ICO like that. Hit enter. Go on the first one. Wait for it to load. Here, there you go. And I follow the instructions. You can see you have to wait for it here. Downloads. Just drag your file on there. I'll wait a little while and it'll pop up over here. I'll leave this link in the description and the downloads and password in the description. And there you go. There's my smiley face. Click on download. Boom, there you go. And if I go to downloads, just untitled that ICO. And you know it's an ICO because it's an ICO right there. So um you can put that as a thing. So you can go browse, browse, downloads, entitled, there you go, okay, okay. You don't even have to refresh it, there you go, two icons. So, um, that's if you want to change them. Now if you want to change them back, you're going to go into it, click on browse, and find the program that it was at. So in this case, for my C drive, my program is Bobby 36. Um, probably the same program files, auto hockey, auto, auto hockey here, there you go, click on that one, okay, okay, boom, refresh here, go find, find it, boom, there you go, boom, all back to normal, so, that's that, now, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to change a um, app icon. So, thank you for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.